This is the 6 to 1 Rooster Booster Outdoor System. Uh, this is the tool you'll need. It doesn't come with a kit. And here is the 6 to 1 adaptation kit, which comes with our 6 to 1 with our outdoor system. If you only have a normal 4 to 1 system with a Ron stand, you wouldn't have those, but we'll discuss that in a bit. Okay. Our outdoor system comes with pre spliced primary lines. So they've already got loops made in them and it's designed for a standard rig or a, ra or a radial rig. And we'll start by assembling it on a boom as if I'd arrived at a major event and I was taking a, a charter boat. So, or you could use this for putting this on your boat for the first time. So a simple loop on a loop to attach that to the outside of the boom. That's your primary line. Your hark and hook and pulley. Now there's a right and a wrong way. You might have seen the videos that show this, but that's the right way the block's got to sit in the sail. And that's the wrong way. If you put it in the wrong way, it falls out the sail and you're embarrassed as your sail falls off. That's the right way. Okay. If that's the right way, thread your primary line down through the hook. There was a reason for going down is because this loop here is on the top of your deck eye and you want to clear that so it's gone down and it's cleared underneath the rope. Okay, so your hook is still operating in the down position and you've cleared it. Okay, now you're ready to attach your control line blocks and system. Here we have the cleat on the boom and if you had a simple four to one system you'd be attaching a block to the end of that loop and your control line would go from this cleat. But if you're going to do the six to one system it becomes slightly more complicated because we're going to attach this block to this cleat and we're going to attach a Beckett block to the end of our primary line to give us six to one control. So I'm going to rig the six to one system. Part of the six to one system would be obviously to have a really handy out all elastic kit, which is something you can also purchase separately from Rooster. So I'm going to attach that first because it's rather awkward doing it any other way. The rules say the elastic has to be attached to this cleat. So I'm going to do a simple knot, leaving my elastic and a hook. And at this end of my out all elastic, I'm going to tie a small knot just shy of the end of the rope, of the end of the elastic. Now the reason for this tool is because I'm going to have to attach a single block to this cleat and there's not much room now. The block sits nicely inside that shackle. Getting this shackle now past this nice piece of elastic, which has adopted all the room, is slightly tricky. Now it's in position, I can put the pin in the block. So, on the out hall, I'm now going to cow splice my Beckett block on the end of my out hall loop just by simply passing the loop through the end of the block. Okay, and now what we have to do is attach our control line to that block. Probably the best way is an overhand on an overhand. We've got a six to one on the outdoor system. Three to one times two. Now we're going to fit 
an outdoor gooseneck loop on a laser spar. Actually, not a laser spar in this case, it happens to be a replacement spar. Um, slide it over from the top, splice so it sits nicely on top of the gooseneck, and then you can do a bowling to attach your block to it. And just for security, you can tape around the loop to stop it falling off when you take the mast down. There's no more rigging to do, now we need to show you how to use it. Are okay, you going to rig it? Let's just hook the sail on for now and find the deepest part sail you could ever want to use. And at that point, let's just tie a knot in this control line. So that means the sail will never go beyond that point. Even if a bit of rope at the front end comes undone or goes wrong, you still can keep going around the race track. So the last part of rigging the sail is putting the clue strap on. We're going to feed all of the clue strap, including its safety tag, through the hole until it hits the ring. Okay, and it sits just slightly under the hook. And you pull hard on the clue strap, because the tighter your clue strap is, the more clearance you've got for your head. Whilst holding the safety piece of Velcro on one side, pull hard with the other side, so the ring stays in position. Lock the Velcro down, and put the safety Velcro around the back. And that's your clue strap tied. Clue straps aren't designed, or should we say Velcro is not designed to be pulled at different angles, so we leave the clue strap to hold the clue down and we use the elastic, our outdoor system, to pull the sail in, in. So you just take your piece of elastic, you go under your boom, through your eye, you've got a little bit to pull through, and back under the boom again and hook onto your hook. You're clear of your control line and what's really nice is the elastic doesn't interfere with the bottom of the sail on port or starboard because it's gone, it's left the boom and it's pulling down at the right angle to let the boom and make the clue strap work. There's no Teflon on this boom, it's just an old boom and it always works. Okay. Then you take your control line past your end, through your, your outall tang loop, and when I rig, I generally put a half hitch in that before I complete the job on the deck. So completing the job, pass it through the deck eye, perhaps with a compass on the deck. Take the loop out, and control it, I'm sure I've got enough depth for the longest, deepest run. And then I just would tie a rope handle.